Hi, my name is Jim Sinesco, Vice President with AFC International. In this video, we're going to highlight and look at the GFG G460 multi-gas sensor instrument. Now, GFG's been around for a long, long time. One of the longest, I think, uh, the oldest gas detection companies in the world. Uh, GFG is based out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, in the states here but the parent company is in germany but the gfg 460 is an amazing little instrument i tell you what it's a small compact rugged little unit but has the capacity to handle up to six gas sensors yep six gas sensors in a very very small package now those gas sensors range from anywhere from h2s co lel and o2 the basic four gases for confined space and all the way through uh, all the different toxic exotics that you're going to see out there, like ammonia and chlorine, chlorine dioxide. Um, they have ethylene oxide sensor and an HF sensor, uh, phosphine, phosgene, PID as well, a 10.6, yep, 10.6 PID uh, sensor, and infrared for CO2, carbon dioxide, and an infrared sensor for combustible 0 to 100% LEL. In fact, that LEL and CO infrared sensors are, can be done on one physical sensor. We can actually detect two gases there. So very, very cool. One of their unique patents is that, that long bench infrared, which, goes, which is a sensor, which goes right down the middle of the instrument. And on that sensor, they can actually do the two different gases, CO2 and combustible gases because they don't interfere they don't absorb it the different they absorb the different regions uh, in the spectrum so they can actually do the two so very very cool and uh, with the combination of doing co2 and photoionization or PID makes for a very very good instrument and we can do it, use it for um, potentially indoor air quality monitoring hazmat monitoring general industrial monitoring again in a very very small rugged package now, the run times and battery times are very impressive, too. As we start putting those high-powered sensors in, like infrareds and PIDs, yeah, we're not going to get as much run, but the normal run time for CO, H2S, LEL, and O2 is about 25 hours. That's incredible. That's a long time for um, uh, an instrument of this caliber. And then when you start putting those exotic sensors in there with the high-powered sensors, you're looking at about 16, 17, 18 hours of runtime, which is still remarkable if you think about it for an instrument this size. So very, very cool. Now, when the unit first came out, it was an all-black case. This unit's been out since, I think, 2001. Um, and uh, not too long ago, they changed the color to a blue-black look. And you can see where the sensor is. It's a diffusion. In, in this form, it's a diffusion. You see one, two, three, four, five, six openings. That's where the gas will diffuse through uh, if you're using it in diffusion mode. However, you can run it with a pump, and the pump is an attachable type pump, which then would be screwed on and attaches to the back of the unit with little thumb screws. I'm just tightening the screws down. Once attached with the louver in the open position, you can use it as a diffusion unit. Or if I want to use the pump, all I'm going to do is push and slide that louver up. And now it closes off the diffusion ports and allows my pump to turn on. And the entrance port to the pump is right here. And I'll just go ahead and, and demonstrate. I'm sucking the air in. It comes in, goes through into a manifold system, and goes all around to your sensors. So very, very cool. I don't need the pump. I turn the louver down, pull the louver down, and now I've got diffusion, even with the pump on. I want to go back and use the pump. I slide the louver forward, attach tubing. I think we can go up to 100 feet on this, 80 to 100 feet. So we can pull a long, long distance. That's a great feature. So it does have the attachable pump. However, the attachable pump has its own power supply on this unit. So therefore, the power is not being drawn from the instrument. So those run times I talked to you about as far as the battery capacity are not going to be affected by adding a pump. And I like that. If you're going to have an attachable pump, I like having it where it has its own power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pump off just for now. Now this unit, it says pump connection loss. So I got to hit the reset button. No big deal. Okay. 
And I have this instrument, even though it's a six gas capable, I only have two sensors in it. I have a, an LEL combustible sensor and I have a CO2 infrared uh, detector. And you can see them there right now looking at you on the screen. Hopefully you can see that. I'll kind of move it around here so you can see it. There's also a button here called Zoom. Now you can notice my reading glasses that I have on. You see, I'm very much vision impaired. As you get older, unfortunately, this is what happens. But by using this instrument and this feature, I can go ahead and hit that button, and now I've just enlarged it to super huge. So I don't even need my glasses to see that. If I want to hit it again, I'll actually switch it to the next sensor. And now it's CO2. I hit it again, and that's going to be my, my battery in percent, how much is left. And I'm looking at this, I got 90% of my battery left over. This is a very cool feature. I hit it again one more time and it goes back to normal size which is still pretty good now as you add sensors the numbers get a little smaller as you take sensors out it gets a little bigger but the zoom feature definitely does a nice job of, so people like me or vision impaired can actually can actually see them so that's that's kinda cool as far as alarm conditions go um, the instrument um, can give you alarm conditions via a horn and also a red light. The red light or the alarm light is this bar that goes all the way around um, almost 180 degrees around the instrument. The backlit screen is actually a green color. So as we get into first alarm and then second alarm, first alarm is going to go, the screen will turn from a, a green to a yellow background backlit display and then the high alarm has a red backlit display so kind of neat it's kind of neat how that all works out so as your normal condition everything is working good you're gonna have a green screen yellow alarm first alarm comes on you get a yellow background and then when the high alarm comes red so it makes it very easy for training a workforce and say hey look when you see yellow start to back out when you see red you got a really serious problem need to make some phone calls and uh, alert people that we got a really bad situation so that green yellow red kind of mentality like a stoplight is very very good for training and very very good for safety so it's kind of cool now I'm gonna go ahead since it has a CO2 sensor in it I am gonna go ahead and exhale now we exhale good amounts of CO2 so I'll be able to drive this instrument into alarm and you'll be able to witness and see the different colored screen so I'm gonna go ahead and cup over <whistles> instrument goes in alarm I think we're at a yellow and you can see the blinking LEDs and we are reading 1.6 and you can see now we're in a red condition high level alarms very loud horn this is what I like about the G460 very very good warning signals and alarms telling you you got situations going on as the instrument comes back out of alarm it will go and and, and uh, unlatch itself i can always reset the instrument it can be set for either latching or non-latching alarms and in this case it's in non-latching so it's coming right out of alarm on the co2 very very cool as far as the clip goes your traditional D ring and your alligator clip on the back the battery supply is right here it's got a rechargeable battery on this one but you can use alkaline battery as well two allen screws on the front you loosen them up and the whole battery pack will come right out the charger comes with the instrument very very easy you put it down in its cradle you latch it down it's a very very nice uh, solid platform for uh, mounting on the wall or mounting in a truck so it won't be flying around so it does come as standard on this charger uh, kind of like a truck mounting type um, setup very neat data logger is in, included in the instrument and an event recorder is also in there um, so you will have that there is a vibrating alarm I don't know if I mentioned that a vibrating alarm along with the visual and the audible horns um, te temperature range is anywhere between minus 20 and um, maybe up to about 131, 132 degrees on the F uh, Fahrenheit. 
So it does have some pretty good capabilities there on the high end, um, but uh, like most gas detectors, not designed to go into a fire. Um, but the GFG does a very nice job. And again, look at the size of this. A six gas capable with photo ionization in a very, very, very small package. Um, so GFG 460, the G460 for AFC International and Jim Sinesco here. If you need any more information on the GFG 460 or you'd like a demo or you want to know more of its capabilities or like a price quote, just give us a call at 800-952-3293 or look us up on the website www.afcintl.com. Be safe. Give us a call if we can help you. Thank you.